Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning from June 13th to the 19th and I'm using this kit from Scribble Prince Co. That is clearly a Ratatouille inspired kit. Um, I really have no reason for purchasing this kit other than the fact that I thought it was pretty and I wanted to use it. Um, I was very drawn to the double box with the Eiffel Tower in the background and I just liked the color scheme. I've actually never seen this movie and I know that's, you know, like crazy because lots of people love this movie I don't really know why but the past few years I haven't been as into like Pixar animated films I used to love them and need to see every single one but I still haven't seen Encanto I still never watched Moana like I turned it on and then just turned it off immediately before the opening credits were even over um I did watch what's that one that takes place in Mexico I watched that one and I didn't really like it um I don't know it's weird. I used to be obsessed with them and, and they just don't like really get me anymore. Anyway, that's all beside the point. The point is I'm using this kit this week and I sort of thought it fit because this weekend I went to a really, really fancy dinner at like a, I guess it's a semi-famous restaurant in New York City. I don't know because I'm not that cool, but like supposedly a lot of celebrities go there and stuff. Um, there were none when I went, but like, you know, so I thought that maybe this very fancy cuisine kit would fit. And um, I really like how this spread came out. I know I mentioned my last three spreads I wasn't like a huge fan of, but I really was happy with this and I'm still happy with it. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get right into the day by day, starting with Monday. Uh, the first thing I marked on Monday with a work label and a computer from the GP studio, um, I marked that I worked and I was so excited to be able to use these laptops with the blue screen. I loved the watercolor look of these when I purchased, like that's why I purchased them, but this blue screen does not go with a lot of kits and I thought it went very well with this color scheme. So I was really happy to be able to use those and it like not look weird. Um, under that with this um, cleaning bucket from, I also think the GP studio, it's either G, yeah. Um, and a flag, I marked that there was just like, I just cleaned um, with a little thing and these Carly Plans weights, I marked that I did a workout with another little thing and this munchkin from once more with love chopping up um, vegetables I marked that I made buffalo cauliflower which um, I'm not a big like cooking person I don't know how to cook really um, my cauliflower is just I wash and cut up a cauliflower and then drown it in Frank's like bu classic buffalo sauce um, just because it's like an easy way for me to get in a bunch of vegetables and that's it I put it in the oven for like x amount of time and that's it I don't do anything else to it like the first time I did this I went all out and like breaded it and all that stuff and I was like it tastes exactly the same to me without the breading so I don't even yeah it's just cauliflower and a thing of hot sauce tons of sodium you will bloat but at least you're getting vegetables in with a fancy label and this sticker from, I think my newest addiction. I love these stickers. I'm going to be so sad when I'm out of them. I marked that um, our dryer was broken and I had a feeling that it had something to do with them replacing the water heater. Um, and I'm still thinking it did just did have something to do with that just because it happened right after they had replaced it. So I'm thinking that they knocked something out of place. Um, but I couldn't figure out why. Like it was running and when I checked the clothing, the clothing was hot, you know, from the dryer, but it was completely damp. Um, so yeah, th just another thing to add to the list. Like being an adult is terrible. Something always happens. Like you get one thing fixed and then something else breaks. Like nothing is ever all working. It's, it's terrible. I hate it. I want to be done. Not really. Not really. I don't want to put that in the universe. Anyway, um, moving on with a little thing and this paper shire planner I marked that I planned. And then with a little thing and this Netflix TV from a freebie, I think, um, I marked that I tried watching Stranger Things for the second time. The first time I tried watching it was five-ish years ago or more. I don't know. I don't remember when it came out, but I really didn't like it. And everybody I know, especially my boyfriend, is always like, oh, this would be your favorite show. So I was trying to watch it again. Moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I marked with a squared off box and these balloons I had left from a freebie and I thought the colors just went really well 
Um, I marked that it was Joe's little niece's third birthday this day with a little thing and this munchkin eating popcorn. I marked that I watched Stranger Things while I worked. I also marked working with a work label and another one of these laptops with a half box and this washing machine from um, Planting Roses. I marked that Joe came over and fixed my dryer. Basically what had happened is there is like a vent that leads to outside and it had gotten blocked but you like it was really hard to unclog you like had to bend something into the wall a certain way I don't know how he did it but Joe figured it out so whatever I was just relieved that I wasn't gonna have to like call anybody I just did not want any more appointments where I had to like be home at a certain time and you know it's just exhausting so that was fixed um with a fancy label and this whatever munchkin I marked that I had to take the floating shelf down that I had just put up because Brad and I knew I knew going into it that this was a possibility but Brad was jumping on it a lot and it was wobbling because there aren't any studs in the wall and also the shelf was missing two of the um like things that are supposed to keep it really steady I can't remember what they call them um not supports but whatever it was missing two of the pieces um and so it was just it's a lot of things number one none of our walls or floors for that matter are even like you can see with your naked eye the floor sloping like this place is a mess but you know it's cheap um and so the wall that I wanted to mount the wall on already is bowed like the center of the wall is out farther and then dips in on either side. So a, a shelf does not lay flush against the wall. We were missing the right um, pieces. And on top of that, um, there were no studs. And when there's no studs, you need a specific like screw system that can like, it's, I don't remember what it's called. It's called like a drywall anchor. That's what it is. So we needed to buy those because the shelf didn't come with them. So we took it down for the time being just so he wouldn't rip it out of the wall from jumping on it. That was a long explanation, sorry. Under that, with a work label and this planner gem sneaker, I marked that I walked two miles. Then moving on to Wednesday, the first thing I marked with a work sticker and another laptop was that I worked. With a little thing and these Carly Plan weights, I marked that I did a workout. With a little thing and an emoji um, hanging up laundry, I marked that I did my laundry. With an emoji getting their period and a flag, I marked that I was really, really sad. And I'm guessing it was because of my PMS. Like I was just constantly holding back tears. With a work sticker and this little, um, I don't know, it's like a Range Rover or something. I don't know where I got it. Um, I marked that I had to fill my tire with a half box and these munchkins in a movie theater. I marked that we watched the movie Nightmare Alley. Um, and it was a very long movie and like halfway through, we were both kind of like, okay, when is this going to get good? But let me just say, I loved the ending. I love a good for full circle ending. It's very satisfying to me. So, um, I ended up really liking this movie with a little thing and the sneakers from Olive Studio. I marked that we went for a walk and that was it for Wednesday. Moving on to Thursday, the first thing I marked with a work label and another computer was that I worked. Then with a fancy label and these munchkins excited to go shopping, I marked that we drove out to King of Prussia to run a bunch of errands. With a label and a Design Ski Sticker Co. Red Bull can, I marked that we went to, to Walmart to get Red Bull. With a fancy label and these munchkins out to dinner, I marked that we went to Ruby Tuesday. Um, with a little thing and a house from the GP studio, I marked that I went home afterwards. Um, and then with a little, oh no, this is an appointment label and this munchkin on a treadmill, I marked that I did a run. And then with a flag and this pumpkin paper co Tara with like a little outfit on, I marked that I tried on some clothing. Moving on to Friday, the first thing I marked with a little thing and a laptop was that I worked. Then with another little thing and Carly Plans weights, I marked my workout with a little thing and this sweating munchkin. I marked that it was so hot. Um, with a squared off box and this Planning Roses vacuum, I marked that I vacuumed everything. Um, with a fancy label and this sad sticker from Once More With Love, I marked again that I was just like really sad and pissed off and like PMSing. With an appointment label and this Target logo from, I believe, Carly Plans, I marked that I did a Target pickup with a little thing and this icon I've had on a variety sheet. I marked that we watched the MTV Challenge, which is back in current time. It's currently 
the 21st of October, I believe. And oh my God, this season is so good. There's only two episodes out so far, but it's going to be so good. Um, with a fancy label and a tired emoji, I marked that I needed to sleep desperately. Um, moving on to Saturday. I don't know why I'm constantly out of breath. It's probably because I haven't been doing workouts or something. I don't know. Um, I cut up a weekly um, habit tracker and used this little emoji um, axing and alarm clock to mark that I got up late and was pissed off about it with a half box. And these, um, I believe I got these brushes from Paper Crown Prints. And then this sad munchkin, I marked that my makeup looked absolutely terrible. Um, and I hated the outfit that I ended up wearing because the, the outfit I wanted to wear didn't work out because um, it required boob tape and my, my boob tape that I had like I don't know if it was old or what but the adhesive, adhesive wasn't working and there was just no way I could wear this sh like the shirt covered everything but it was backless you know so you like you'd see a bra you get it so anyway it just I am not I don't have the right I need a bra or tape like I can't not so I didn't know what else to wear to this dinner like I don't have a lot of you know clothing that would work so um I was really upset and running out of time and also I've gained a little bit of weight so maybe something that I would have worn to this dinner years ago no longer like fits very well and like doesn't look good so yeah I was very upset with a little thing and this emoji in a car I marked that um, there was so much traffic driving to New York City. There was so much. Um, I think it took us like three hours to get into the city. Um, and it was all at the end. Like we made record time getting up to like North Jersey. But just going through um, like Jersey City or whatever like into Manhattan was insane. It was like all of our time was the last like couple miles. Like it, it was awful. With a fancy label and this happy munchkin, I marked that this really nice man, I can't believe this, saved us his spot. We gave ourselves originally over an hour to find parking, but because of the traffic and the time constantly going up, and like we did plan for that, but not this much. The traffic was way worse than we could have imagined. Um, we only had a half an hour to find parking before we'd like be running late to the surprise party. We found parking in less than five minutes because I saw this guy pulling out of his spot and we did a U-turn and he saw us and he backed back into his spot so that nobody would take it. And when we came over, he's like, hey, I saw you guys were looking for parking. So I just wanted to make sure you got this spot since you saw it first. And I, I could have cried. That was like the nicest thing anybody had ever done. Um, so then because of that we actually had time to walk to the restaurant and we weren't going to have to take the subway so we walked to dinner um and we marked that with another well we didn't mark anything I marked it with another pair of sneakers from Olive Studio then with a half box and uh I can't tell if these are emojis or munchkins because the sticker looks the same for both shops to me and I have them both but whatever both great um I marked that it was Joe's brother-in-law's surprise 40th birthday party he was actually 41 but he turned 40 during COVID so like you get it and it was at this restaurant called I don't know if I'm saying this correctly Indochin 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 I don't know how to say it it is some of the best food I've ever had it looked really scary and like way too advanced for our palates but it was so good best cauliflower I've ever had in my life then with a piece of washi and this little wine glass I've had from who knows where, um, I marked that we went back to um, Joe's sister's apartment after dinner with a fancy label and this road trip sticker. I marked that we couldn't spend the night because we were driving to um, New Jersey an hour away, more than an hour and away, like two hours away, Jesus, um to like my best friend's mom's house so yeah we left and we we left around like 2 30 and we got to new to our destination at 4 30 in the morning and I marked that with a squared off box and these emojis making the bed I marked that we got there at 4 30 and we just passed out moving on to Sunday the first thing I marked with a squared off box and this sticky perks um breakfast plate I marked that breakfast food saved me I was definitely feeling hungover because um 
Joe's brother-in-law was like on a mission to get everybody drunk. So he kept just like buying everybody drinks and handing them to them, like without even asking if they wanted them. Um, and it was his birthday. Like, how could I say no? And I was having such a good time, even though I looked like shit. I ended up wearing um, Joe's sweater to the fancy dinner. I did not look very New York City. Everybody else looked so good. And I was in an immense H&M sweater, but it's fine. I had a really good time. Um, but anyway, yeah, I needed that breakfast food with a little thing and this munchkin laying out. I marked that I went out and laid out by their pool trying to get a little bit of color. Um, I didn't really get much with a squared off box and this emoji riding a bike. I marked that I learned how to ride a bike this day. Um, I was not allowed to ride a bike when I was little. Um, and then like my dad didn't want my sister and me learning how to ride bikes. Long story Um, but by the time my grandfather tried to teach me, I was already like too old and too scared, you know, like I wasn't like young and and fearless anymore. And I like, like I lost control of the bike and flipped over a tree trunk and, uh, that was it. So I have not known how to ride a bike. And every time someone finds out, they're like, how do you not know how to ride a bike? And anyway, whatever. Now I know how. So shut up. With a little thing and this snack sticker from Sticky Perks, I marked that I ate way too many snacks. Um, and I was not feeling great. With a half box and this Chipotle sticker from Sticky Perks, I marked, I marked that we stayed way too late just like hanging out and chatting, but we just really didn't feel like leaving. We were so tired. And it was just like nice to be in this nice big house out of the city, but we did have to go back eventually. And when we did go back, we walked to Chipotle to get dinner. And then the final thing on Sunday um, with this little thing and these munchkins watching TV, I marked that we watched Ozark. Oh, um, moving on to my sidebar. The first thing I marked with this little, um, party munchkin was that it was, um, the surprise party this week. And, um, the other thing I marked with this cracked under pressure munchkin was that I was just very pissy all week. Um, I just like, yeah, I mean, that's it. I was just PMSing a lot this week, but, um, the weekend was really good and um yeah that's it so i hope you enjoyed this video um i'm really sorry about like all of my like deep breathing and stuff i don't i don't know why it's not like i'm exerting myself but i'm just like having a lot of trouble breathing i'm not sure but anyway um hopefully you were able to look past that and um thank you so much for watching especially if you watched all the way till the end and i will see you in the next one bye